the product featured in today's video is the Amsoil Signature Series ATF. This is synthetic automatic transmission fluid. It meets and exceeds all of Ford's specifications. Hello and welcome to the channel. On this episode of AB's service videos, we're going to be doing a transmission service on a 2015 Ford Fusion Titanium with a 2 liter EcoBoost. These vehicles are equipped with the 6F35 6 speed automatic transmission. We're going to be using the Amsoil Signature Series ATF. In order to do one drain and fill, you're going to need between four and five quarts. You'll see what I mean here shortly. We've got the driver's side front wheel removed. In order to access the level plug, which is this hex plug right here behind the front axle. We've got our vehicle on a lift. It will make this job a lot easier if you do have a lift. Uh, a jack and jack stands is fine as well, but drive on ramps will make it very difficult to access that filler plug or that level plug. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, we've got the vehicle on the rack. I can go ahead and lift the vehicle. Once you've got the vehicle lifted, we're going to remove this underbody panel. It's held on by a number of 10 millimeter screws all along the perimeter of it. So just take your gun and your 10 millimeter socket and release the bolts. set it to the side. So once you have the underbody panel removed, the transmission is on the driver's side of the vehicle. The drain plug is right dead center in the middle of it. It's an 11 millimeter six point socket. You just want to position your drain pan underneath the plug. Go ahead and break it free with the ratchet. Bring our pan up to reduce the amount that the fluid has to travel. It's a pretty small plug, so I would recommend holding on to it with your fingers so you don't lose it in any small openings in the drain pan. And then you'll just let the fluid run out of the transmission like that. You'll want to observe the color of the fluid. You want to make sure that it's somewhat still red. That would indicate healthy fluid. If the fluid is very dark, smells burnt, then it's likely that there has been damage inside the transmission and replacing the fluid will no longer fix that. If you are currently already experiencing problems with your transmission as far as shifting, harsh shifts, slow shifts, rough shifts, Changing the fluid will not correct these issues and you have internal transmission damage or failure. This is merely preventative maintenance to help avoid that sort of thing from happening. Once the fluid has come to a slow drip like this, you go ahead and take your drain plug and reinsert it. It's a good idea to put one thin layer of um, white tape plumber's tape are on the threads. They're very fine threads, so you don't want to overdo it. And this just helps prevent the fluid from leaking out. Always want to put it in by hand first. And like I said, these threads are very fine, so you don't need a lot of torque on this. Take your 
scratch it and once you feel the slightest bit of moderate resistance, you're good. Like right there, that's all you need really. So now we can go ahead and lower the vehicle and add the transmission fluid. So the transmission fill plug is right next to this transmission line right here. It's this black cap. All you got to do is pull up on it and it'll twist out. Looks like this. This has got a little dirt and debris on it. It's from road grime. And you'll just set that to the side. And then you can see the opening right there. So in order to fill the fluid, you're going to need a funnel with a long reach, long reach on it. Just simply insert that into the opening. Then we can add our fluid. I always start by adding four quarts to the vehicle. So this is Amsoil's Signature Series fuel efficient line of ATF. This is what the vehicle calls for. It meets all the manufacturer specs. It actually exceeds them but as long as the fluid meets the spec, that's the important part. And it is quite a small opening, so it does take a little bit of time to, uh, to fill. Like I said, we're gonna start off by adding four quarts. Picking up on the funnel to release the seal that it creates around the opening helps with the fluid draining into the transmission quicker. Our second quart. This vehicle's got 136,000 miles on it. The forward service interval is 30 to 50,000 miles on these transmissions. It's very important that you do that if you're using the Ford Fluid especially. especially. These transmissions have an internal fluid filter, which is not serviceable unless you separate the transmission case. So the best way to prevent the filter from being, getting plugged up with debris is to change the fluid frequently. That's our third quart. And our fourth quart. Again, this is the Ford Transmission six speed automatic front wheel drive. The designation is 6F35. This is going to be found in your fusions, uh, the edges around this time. All right, so we've got our fluid in the transmission, it's safe to start it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go inside the vehicle, start it, apply the brake, and just shift it into each gear and hold it there for a couple seconds. All right, so we've made our way inside the vehicle. Now we're gonna go ahead and start this. Like I said, go ahead and shift it into each gear a couple times, a couple seconds, and hold it. it really doesn't matter if you shift it into sport or not. Back into park. What's the answer dealing? You're gonna leave the vehicle running and exit the vehicle. 
In order to properly check the fluid level on these transmissions, the transmission and the vehicle have to be running. So we're gonna go ahead and raise the vehicle. And then you'll want to position a drain pan underneath whereabouts where the fill plug is. Basically going to look for the cutout right here and place the drain plug right up, drain pan right under that. So we're going to go ahead and release the fill or the level plug right now. You're going to need about an eight inch, eight to ten inch, uh, three eighths drive extension, three eighths drive ratchet, and a ten millimeter socket. Simply. Insert it in the socket hole and break it free. Once you break it free, you can spin it out by hand. Cut the plug to the side. And next, we're simply going to add fluid to the transmission until we see transmission fluid coming outside of that plug at a very slow dry drain. Just add little bits at a time and check. No fluid coming out, add more. And now we've got fluid coming out, as you can see. So once it looks exactly like that, it's safe to go ahead and reinstall the level plug. And then tighten it down with your ratchet and socket. Snug is fine. And then you can go ahead and clean up the area. And that completes the fluid level check. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the transmission fill cap, remove the funnel, reinstall the underbody cover and the driver's side front wheel, and that completes the service. All right, so we've lowered the vehicle back down to where we can access the fill plug and our funnel. Go ahead and remove that and then reinstall the fill plug. It just slides into the rubber hose that's installed on the top side of the transmission. Sometimes it's a little bit of a pain. Be careful, some of these components might have gotten hot as you were running the vehicle, depending on how long you had it running for. Now we can go ahead and raise the vehicle again and reinstall the wheel and then the underbody skid plate. Grab our wheel, line it up on the studs. I like to install the bottom lug nut first to keep the wheel from kind of doing a lop, lopsided thing where the bottom comes out from under it. You can go ahead and grab your impact or big ratchet or wrench. Thread them all on by hand first, just to make sure they get a good initial thread bite so you don't cross thread anything. All right, we have the wheel installed. Now we can go ahead and 
raise the vehicle all the way up and install the underbody panel. Just gonna go ahead and grab your screws and your panel. Line it up with the holes and kind of support it with one hand. Find one hole and install one of the screws at the front and then work your way to the back. These don't require a lot of torque. They're just going into plastic uh, anchors. And then finish installing the rest of your screws. Once everything else is lined up. So this is what remains of our fifth quart of transmission fluid. As you can see, we used about half. So during this drain and fill service, we installed four and a half new quarts of transmission fluid. These transmissions hold about nine plus quarts. So in order to get a good solid drain and fill and fluid change on these transmissions, I would definitely recommend doing the service, especially the first time two if not three times in succession and that'll get you at least you know 75 80 85 percent of the old fluid out if you do it on a regular basis one once every you know like i said 30 to 50 thousand miles or twice will be good enough to upkeep thank you for watching today's episode thank you for watching today's episode if you enjoyed this episode please give it a like a share and a thumbs up leave me some comments down below if you liked it and what you specifically would like to see next if you'd like more information on amsoil products to sign up or place an order you can send me a direct message leave a comment in the comments below or I'll leave a link in the description of the video below again thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one